I'll just be brief. Um, we are at an historical and pivotal moment in world history. And I think our kids and our grandchildren are going to look back years from now and ask us, what did we do after knowing the crisis facing this planet in terms of global warming and the impact that it's having not only on the United States, but on countries all over the world? What did we do to prevent increased drought, higher food prices? What did we do to prevent increased flooding in major cities in America and around the world going underwater? What did we do to prevent extreme weather disturbances, which have already cost our country tens and tens of billions of dollars, and the projections are that it will be more expensive in years to come? That's what they will be asking. And I got to tell you that while I understand that in politics it is normal to have disagreements on every issue, the idea that we have a major political party out there that today is rejecting basic science, what the overwhelming majority of scientists are saying, which is that climate change is real, it is caused by human activity, it is causing devastating problems now, and those problems will only get worse in years to come. The fact that we have a political party out there that is saying, no, we reject that science, is utterly embarrassing. Now, I think what the EPA has done in reining in carbon pollution from our largest polluters is exactly the right thing to do. Power plants are the largest source of the nation's harmful carbon pollution, accounting for roughly one-third of all carbon released into the air. Unlike other pollutants, today there are no limits to the amount of carbon pollution that a power plant can release. The EPA's proposed carbon pollution standards will address this critical gap by setting state-by-state -state carbon pollution limits. By 2030, the standards are expected to reduce U.S. power plant carbon pollution by 30 percent compared to 2005 levels. Frankly, I think that that is a good and important start, and I congratulate the Obama administration and the EPA administrator, Gina McCarthy, for going forward. But frankly, we have got to do more. In my view, what Congress should be debating now are pieces of legislation like the ones that Senator Boxer and I introduced calling for a tax on carbon. The times are critical. There is not a whole lot of time left before we can transform our energy system. So I would hope very much that all of my colleagues listen to the scientific community and that we move forward boldly to protect not only this generation, but our kids and our grandchildren. Thank you.